Oh, look at that. What a treat. Wow. back to the, the channel just about to have my first cast at this mark so I've been up to St Abs this morning and I fished for about three hours but I didn't get a single touch on any of the, the metals or the, the soft plastics there just wasn't any fish around but there was loads and loads of dolphins so perhaps they've chased away all the fish or the fish are just in hiding. Um, the dolphins were there pretty much most of the session, just patrolling backwards and forwards across the front. So that probably spoiled the fishing. So rather than waste any more time up there, I thought I'd come down to Eye Mouth. There's a few mackerel around still. And there's always the chance of coalies and pollock up here too. So I'll see what I can catch. I had thought about going bait fishing today with a big rod down just locally, but the tides and the tides weren't right and the water's just too flat. So I thought I'd just treat myself to a day out. So I got up early. I travelled up before the traffic got bad. And I've just been pottering around really, just enjoying myself. Oh! Yeah, little crawly, that'll do for a start. Oh, just released itself. Saves me doing it. Yeah, uh, there's a seal just here. He's obviously just seen us bringing that in, hasn't he? Look at him, just there. Go away. He's laughing at us. It's not what you want. <laughs> Teeniest fish in the world. It's just a little, um, I think it's a little pollock. So there's fish here, more than can be said for St Abs. We'll see what we'll get. It'll be a fun little session, if nothing else. What I'm doing is I'm fishing kind of out towards the boy markers at the minute. So trying to cast a bit distance. I'm just using my little six piece travel rod. It's got a, an okay cast on it. It obviously doesn't go anywhere near as far as the, the bigger rods, but it doesn't matter. Is that another little fish on there? I think it was just another one of them little pollock just grabbed a hold and let go. So I'm just going to use some spinners here. See if I can get I don't know, a couple of mackerel. I'll just take, take them home and put them in the freezer. Just fancy to do out somewhere different. I was going to go bait fishing again, but the sea's a bit flat. Yeah, fish on. Got to get it up before the seal comes for it. Oh, some big swells coming up here. I'm going to move up here. I'm going to grab you as well. Because oh, look at that! Wow, come from nowhere that. 
Wow. Unreal. Got a fish though. So yeah, when you're on the rocks, watch, watch the sea because it can change at the drop of a hat. I'm always really aware of the surroundings when I'm fishing, but especially somewhere like this where you've got, it's, it's kind of like the, the water can easily wash up like it did, did there. But I keep looking, I look over there and you can see the swells and then they just sort of came around the corner from nowhere. Have a go. Little coolie. Get that back in. Fish number three. Cast this in the same direction again. See if there's any more fish, fish up that way. That's the lure I'm using. Little 28 gram. I don't even mind catching coalies all day. Just something different, isn't it? It's just a little bit of fun on what could be the last summer's day that we'll have this year. So I'll just bring this really slowly in because it's deep, so deep. When I'm winding, it's kind of coming up. And if you wind too quick, it just comes up away from the seabed. So I always find that just a couple of little jigs on the rod, two turns of the handle. So the, the spin I'll be going up and then down and up and down. Hopefully staying close to the bottom where the fish are. So I'm going to head up there. We'll have a look on the other side and we'll see if we can fish away from the seal. See if, see if I can get a decent fish. It would be nice to get one. So I'll get packed up and we'll head up and over there. just found out from somebody who's fishing around the corner that there's two seals here as well so I just can't get away from them so I'm just going to have a few casts here into that deep water see if I can get a few fish in the guy around the corner said he's had nothing at all so it's not looking very promising I've switched to the bigger rod this is the nine foot NGT four piece travel rod but I'm still using the same spinners on the end We'll see if I can get anything. So I'm going to stand here, but I'm going to watch them swells. It seems to have flattened off quite a bit. But I am about 10 foot back from the water there, so I should be fine here. So I'm just chucking that right out. I know it's nice and deep out there. That's on the bottom there. Oh, is that a fish? Fish on. Not very big. But it's a fish. It's a fishy fish fish. What is it? Little coolie. Teeny little one. I'll show you because there's not many fish today, is there? A little stinky coolie. Just, I wasn't filming, but I caught that one. Is that, I don't know what that is. Is it a little cod? I hope the camera's focusing on it. Is that a little cod? It's just got really unusual markings. It's definitely not a pollock or a coolie, but it has got the little thing under its mouth. So yeah, could you let us know what kind of fish that is, please? Because I have no idea. Yeah, there's fish hitting it. I'm not going to bother with plastics round here. I'm just going to stick with the metals. I'm enjoying myself enough. Oh, fish on. Woo! <laughs> that was a flying fish. <laughs> yes, monsters today. Size of that. I nearly whacked you with a flying fish there. I was a bit too. 
a bit too anxious to get it out of the way of the seals. Can I have something a bit bigger than that, please? Couldn't get any smaller. I'm always amazed at the size of the, the fish that go for the lures. You can see the little fish picking at it when it comes in. Even big lures. Just chucking that one kind of right out that way. Hopefully out the way of the seal. Uh, just one turn of the handle and then one bounce of the rod. Fish. Little fish, I think. Oh, come on. It's even smaller than the last one. How on earth is that possible? Hooked in the mouth as well. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. What a sight. How about that? How majestic. So that'll be a mating pair with two signets. Oh, that's just absolutely beautiful to see that. So that's been dolphins, seals, and those lovely swans too. Get a hell of a cast on this rod. 22 pound. So all it cost, probably told you that before. So it tells us to shut up if I'm waffling and boring you. But yeah, 21.99. I know it's Steve from Sparta Fishing. He has one too. Well, actually he has two too. He's bought two of them. He's fished with them for a while. You don't need to spend a lot of money on fishing gear. This rod absolutely proves that. Little fish on. That's putting up a little fight. Go before this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not much bigger. <laughs> it's still a teeny little, tinsy little coley. I'll still show you them though. Nice to see, isn't it? Little fish. But I'd like something a little bit bigger. Boo! Stink. Something I've noticed this year. There's not many seabirds around. Now I know I've read about bird flu and apparently there's been millions of birds lost to the bird flu, but so noticeable this year, even at places like Dunstanborough Castle and Cullinose Point, there hasn't been as many birds, but where it's most notable is places like this where you can see miles along the coast and there's, there's just, I've never seen, that. I think there was one day over Blythe Beach where I saw seagulls um, diving for the bait fish and that was the only time this year. Apart from that, I've just seen the odd, you know, a few birds flying around. I'll get right down onto the bottom. I can hear a helicopter. Probably the sea rescue. Where is it? It's going to pop over there any second, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Whoa, that's a big one. 
See it? Oh, look at that! What a treat! Whoa! Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! That was so close! <laughs> God, I've never seen one that close. It was literally, what? It's got to be 100 yards up in the, in the air. Oh, I could feel it like thumping. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> it's got us all flustered. Oh man! Hey, honestly, my heart's like pounding. Oh, that was scary. That was like our own personal flyby. That wasn't it. Fantastic. Hey, I've caught some proper treats on camera today. Today is not about the fishing, it's about the other things that we've seen. Right, two more casts and that's going to be it. Because we're just flogging a dead horse. <laughs> the guy who I was just talking to there, he's obviously up on the top of the rock. So he must have like just whoosh, had to duck when that went over. What an amazing sight. Right, last cast. I don't think that guy realised I was filming. He's probably thinking, what on earth is she rabbiting on about? Because he's literally here, is over there. I think he's away now. He just, I think he's just popping his head over just to see if I'd caught anything. Make sure I was all right as well, probably. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Certainly enjoyed making it. I always do. I'm sure you know that. So I'll get planning something else. I'll get out, get fishing, hopefully catch some winter cod for you. So, you lot, stay safe out there. Tight lines. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.